PayPal executive, uh, he's their global strategist by the name of Rakesh Agrawal. He was uh, down in New Orleans for the Jazz Fest and he had a full on Twitter breakdown and we've got some of the tweets. Okay, so he was drunk apparently, that's what we know so far and uh, here's a couple of them for you. People who should be fired from PayPal, Don Christmas, a pool, a kick. What does that mean? Okay, it's a little confusing as to what that means, but he's got some idea that he's angry at somebody. Christina Smedley is a useless piece of shit. You that was that was pretty clear. That's pretty direct. That's pretty so, clear. He up. so the first one, the first one, it was like he just did the shot. It was like I'm gonna say it, and then didn't know what he was gonna say. The second one, Christina Smedley, we get it. So she works at PayPal, Christina Smedley, yes. and this guy is the owner of PayPal, or yeah. the CEO? Uh, no, he is the global strategist. Oh, he so a, he's, he's a, a big, he, big he's shot exec. exec. So then I like this one, this is my personal favorite. Duck you, Smedley, you useless middle manager. Ah. Uh, now we assume that's fuck, not duck, and, and then, I and like, he, the, the accidental yeah. period is always good, isn't it? Oh yeah, it? I love it. I lo and, then, and then of course he wants to make a little uh, check-in <laughs> at the Hyatt Regency in the middle of his uh, tirade. <laughs> what do you guys want to bet that the DM that he has there, see he has one message there, that that's, know. that's his assistant like, what the hell are you doing? Uh -huh. what are you doing? Here's his excuse. Last night I was using a new phone that I bought because I wanted to test experiences on Android. Those messages were meant for a colleague. I find that. I find that a little disingenuous. Well, well those messages might have been meant for a colleague, but that doesn't change the fact that, that he, he meant what he had said. Right. He's crazy. I mean, look, what I always love is when someone gets caught saying or doing something on Twitter, and then they'll say that they got hacked or that the technology went haywire and whatever. <laughs> and it's the like, technology went haywire. Yeah. Yeah. But I always, I always wonder what people would say if they had no filter. Right, like people that you work with, your friends, your family. Obviously, this guy has like deep rooted hatred for the people that he's been working with and working for for quite some time. He does not like and Smedley. I'll tell you that. Much. Doesn't like. She's a useless piece of shit, according <laughs> to him. She's right? a ducking, you know. But also, as I read that story, I realize, like, I don't know if everyone at work loves me, but I know that I love everyone at work, and it's like a good feeling to know that, you know, I don't think anyone at work is a useless piece of shit, and that's right. that's Nobody. great. Nobody. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I think Jimmy is, but oh, no. you walked right into that one, brother. No. Uh, so PayPal did issue a tweet. <laughs> oh, where's the sniper sound? Rakesha Grawal is no longer with the company. Uh, ah. Treat everyone with respect. No excuses. PayPal has zero tolerance. Ah, <laughs> Mr. Global is not going to be staying at the Hyatt New Orleans anytime soon again. Yeah. Sorry. You know, I feel like every story we do, we talk about this slippery slope of things with the apologies and people's beliefs and what they say privately oh. and publicly and all that. And this is another case of that. This guy, is a, he's an executive at a company, mm -hmm. and it's an online company, but it's just a company like anything other. And can't people have breakdowns he did this wasn't racial in nature it was directed to a person not to a group no you no. can't have a breakdown like you that can't. because look it, it's the same thing i mean it would be similar to me going on twitter and saying jank is a useless piece of shit like we work together that makes our company look extremely bad it it definitely um, does something to morale so i totally support PayPal deciding to fire yeah. him. Do you it's guys, their right to do it. So. Do you think it has something to do with the level of the person? Because obviously uh, he's an executive, so that mm -hmm. means something. You're high up here at the, uh, the well, that's, Turks, I believe. Yeah, so does that have some part of it? Sue, she could sue him for her freaking harassment. I mean, that's a public, he's doing that publicly. He's a superior. That's not, you can't do that. That's yeah. right, I'm, I, don't, I don't know about Corporate. I mean, that's why I'm a comedian. I can do whatever I want. I'm an outsider. Right? You don't want a hostile work environment. I think that that probably leads to a hostile yes. work environment, I mean, to right. say the least. No matter yeah. what the position at the company, like if you're just doing a tweeting at a coworker or even someone above, you can't do that. You got to respect the people you work with. At what? least, you know. Like you don't say something. Publicly. You don't say <laughs> like we all we all gripe After about. After she said these nice things about everyone here, at least publicly. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is what I'm going to say. Yeah. Yes. I mean, we all gripe about where you work. No matter where you work, you have yeah. gripes. You want to fix things make them better or things you don't like, but you keep that in house, right? Mm -hmm. You don't say that publicly on a Twitter or if somebody points a camera at your face, right? right. You keep it inside. Right. Yeah. What I mean, I talk shit about you guys all the constantly. time behind closed doors, but I never put it on Twitter. Of course. Right? Exactly. Right back at you. <laughs> <laughs>